wild barrel hogs trapped hunted go in America. Welcome folks, ever pondered where trapped feral hogs go in America? In today's video we're unraveling the mystery behind the destinations for these invasive creatures. From specialized processing facilities to unique conservation efforts, we'll uncover the various methods employed in managing feral hog populations. Get ready for a deep dive into the intricate world of feral hog control and the diverse strategies implemented across the country. Don't miss out on the insights and solutions aimed at mitigating the impact of these creatures on our environment. Like, subscribe, and join us on this eye-opening journey into feral hog management. Most of the trapped or hunted feral hogs in America end up at your table as wild pork meat. Pork from wild boars is even expensive and more sought after than pork from reared pigs. We will cover most questions that people ask in this video. Please watch to the end to learn more. Thanks for stopping by. Can you eat feral hogs in Texas? Yes, you can eat feral hogs in Texas. In fact, feral hog hunting is a common activity in the state due to the significant population of these animals, which can cause damage to crops and property. Many people view hunting feral hogs as a way to control their numbers and mitigate the negative impact they can have on the environment. After hunting a feral hog, you can certainly process the meat for consumption. The meat is generally considered to be lean and can be used in various culinary preparations similar to domestic pork. However, it's important to follow proper processing and cooking procedures to ensure food safety. What U.S. state has the most feral hogs? Texas was considered to have the largest population of feral hogs in the United States. Feral hogs are found in many states across the country, but Texas has been particularly affected by their overpopulation. The animals cause significant damage to crops, natural habitats, and property, leading to concerns about environmental and economic impacts. According to recent findings from the University of Georgia, Texas leads the nation in feral hog population. A staggering 99.6% of counties in Texas are home to these invasive and immensely destructive species adding to the list of over 800 invasive species present in the Lone Star State. How do I get rid of wild hogs in Texas? Controlling and managing wild hog populations can be challenging, but there are various methods you can consider to reduce their numbers. It's important to note that wild hog control often requires a combination of strategies due to their high reproductive rate and adaptability. Here are some methods commonly used in Texas and other areas to control wild hogs. <laughs> hunting. Hunting is a popular method for controlling feral hog populations. Many hunters in Texas actively pursue wild hogs for sport and to help manage their numbers. Consider legal and ethical hunting practices and make sure you comply with all state and local regulations. Trapping. Trapping can be an effective method for capturing multiple hogs at once Various types of traps, including corral traps and box traps, can be used. It's essential to monitor and maintain traps regularly. Use of dogs. Specially trained dogs can be used to track and catch wild hogs, making it easier for hunters to control their populations. This method is often used in conjunction with hunting or trapping. Aerial control. In some cases, helicopters are used to locate and shoot feral hogs. This method requires special permits and should be conducted by trained professionals. Fencing Installing and maintaining strong fencing can help prevent wild hogs from accessing certain areas, such as crops or property. The fence should be at least 3 to 4 feet high and be constructed to prevent the hogs from rooting underneath. Baiting Baiting can be used to attract hogs to specific areas where hunting or trapping activities are planned. Be sure to follow local regulations regarding baiting practices. Biocontrols. Some areas are exploring the use of biological controls, such as introducing diseases that affect feral hogs. However, this approach can be controversial and requires careful consideration. Who brought feral pigs to America? The presence of feral pigs, also known as wild or feral hogs, in the Americas can be traced back to various historical events the introduction of these animals is not attributed to a single individual or group, but rather a combination of factors. Here are some key points regarding the introduction
introduction of feral pigs to the Americas. Explorers and Colonists European explorers and early colonists played a significant role in the introduction of domestic animals, including pigs, to the Americas during the Age of Exploration. Spanish explorers, in particular, are known to have brought domestic pigs to the New World. Colonial Farming As European settlers established colonies in the Americas, they brought domestic animals for farming and food purposes. Pigs were commonly brought for their ability to adapt to various environments and reproduce rapidly. Escape and release. Over time, domestic pigs escaped from enclosures or were intentionally released into the wild by settlers. The rugged and diverse landscapes of the Americas provided environments where these pigs could survive and reproduce without significant natural predators. Native American practices. Some evidence suggests that Native American tribes may have also kept domestic pigs, and interactions with European settlers could have contributed to the spread of feral pig populations. As a result of these historical processes, feral pig populations became established in various regions of the Americas. These populations have since adapted to local environments, reproduced prolifically, and become a significant concern due to their impact on ecosystems, agriculture, and natural habitats. Do people buy wild hogs in Texas? Yes, there is a market for wild hogs in Texas. Some individuals and businesses engage in the buying and selling of wild hog meat. Wild hog meat is often considered a lean and flavorful alternative to traditional pork. While hunting is a common method for obtaining wild hog meat, there are also instances where people purchase the meat from hunters, trappers, or processing facilities. Additionally, some hunters and landowners in Texas may sell or lease hunting rights to individuals interested in hunting wild hogs on their properties. This creates a recreational hunting market where people pay for the opportunity to hunt and harvest wild hogs. Does Texas pay for feral hogs? As of my last knowledge update in January 2022, Texas did not have a statewide program that directly paid individuals for feral hog removal. However, it's worth noting that the issue of feral hogs and the associated agricultural and environmental damage is a significant concern in Texas, and various initiatives and programs may have been implemented or modified since then. Some local counties or wildlife management entities may offer incentives or bounties for feral hog removal as part of localized efforts to control their populations. These programs can vary and it's essential to check with local agricultural extension offices, wildlife management authorities, or relevant government agencies for the most up-to-date information on any existing programs in your specific area. Additionally, private landowners or hunting organizations may offer incentives or opportunities for individuals to participate in feral hog control efforts on their properties. These arrangements can involve payment, reduced hunting fees, or other benefits, who buys live wild hogs in Texas. There are various entities in Texas that may purchase live wild hogs. Here are some potential buyers of live wild hogs in Texas. Trappers and hunters. Individuals who specialize in trapping or hunting wild hogs may sell live animals to interested buyers. Some may capture and sell live hogs as part of their business. Exotic game ranches. Some exotic game ranches or private hunting preserves may purchase live wild hogs to stock their properties for hunting purposes, agricultural or livestock operations. Certain agricultural operations, such as farms or ranches, may purchase live wild hogs for various purposes, including breeding or as a source of meat. Zoos or wildlife sanctuary. Some zoos or wildlife sanctuaries may acquire live live wild hogs for exhibition or educational purposes. Specialty meat processors. Some meat processors may be interested in purchasing live wild hogs for processing into specialty meat products. Is there a reward for killing hogs in Texas? Hunters submitting a feral hog tail to the Central Texas Feral Hog Task Force are eligible for a $5 reward per tail. Originally established in Caldwell County in 2013, the program has since expanded to include other counties. Starting in 2018, how much does it cost to hunt feral hogs in Texas? The cost of hunting feral hogs in Texas can vary widely depending on several factors, including the type of 
hunting experience, the services provided, the location of the hunt, and whether it's on public or private land. Hey, here are some general considerations. Guided hunts on private land. Guided hog hunts on private ranches or lands with amenities and services may range from a few hundred to several thousand dollars. The cost often includes accommodation, meals, and the guidance of experienced hunters or outfitters. Day hunts or package deals. Some operations offer day hunts or package deals, which can range from around $100 to a few hundred dollars. These hunts may or may not include additional services like lodging and meals. Public land hunts. Hunting feral hogs on public land may have lower costs, as there might not be fees associated with the land itself. However, hunters need to consider other expenses such as permits, travel, and accommodations. Do-it-yourself hunts. For those who prefer a do-it-yourself, do-it-yourself approach, hunting on public land or finding private land access through networking might involve fewer direct costs. But hunters should still consider travel, gear, and any necessary permits. Hunt lease fees. Some landowners lease hunting rights for feral hog hunting. The cost of leasing land for hunting can vary, depending on factors such as acreage and location. Can I shoot hogs on my property in Texas? Yes, in Texas, landowners or their authorized agents are generally allowed to take or shoot feral hogs on their own property without a hunting license. This exemption is provided by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department, DOTPWD, to address the significant issues posed by feral hogs, which can cause damage to crops, property, and the environment. Here are some key points to consider. Landowner privileges. Landowners, tenants, or lessees, and their immediate family members are considered authorized agents and can take feral hogs on the landowner's property without a hunting license. Hunting license for others, if someone who is not an authorized agent of the landowner wants to hunt feral hogs on private property, they generally need a valid Texas hunting license. Use of artificial light. Landowners and authorized agents can use artificial light to take feral hogs at night on their property. However, there are restrictions on using artificial light from a moving vehicle or watercraft. Other regulations. While landowners have certain privileges, when it comes to feral hogs on their property, they still need to adhere to other relevant regulations, such as not using prohibited hunting methods or discharging firearms in a prohibited manner. Can you shoot hogs from a helicopter in Texas? In Texas, shooting feral hogs from a helicopter is permitted under specific conditions and with a depredation permit from the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department. Helicopter hog hunting is often conducted by professional services, prioritizing safety and effective wildlife management to control the population of these invasive and damaging species. Can you shoot hogs in Texas without a license? Yes, in Texas, landowners and their authorized agents are generally allowed to shoot feral hogs on their own property without a hunting license. This exemption is provided by the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department to address the agricultural and environmental issues caused by feral hogs. Subscribe, like, and share to stay connected with our wild adventures. Together, let's continue to explore, learn, and contribute to the conservation of our precious wildlife. Thank you for being a part of this journey. Until next time.